Sweet potato souffle is really the dessert, but it's served along with the meal. I like to have a little sweet and salty on the same plate, and this sweet potato souffle is perfect. You've been making sweet potato souffle for several years. Yeah, I started it when the kids were little, I think, trying to get them to eat vegetables, and of course, it's got a lot of sugar and other stuff in it, but once they know they like sweet potatoes, then you can try them other ways. True. But this and one with the nuts on top, is, it's just different from the old marshmallow one that everybody used to make. Yeah, and the sweet potato casserole from our childhood is covered with marshmallows, and I don't know, it just never was really my favorite. There's so much food on the table anyway, so we're kind of sneaking dessert in with the meal, so you right. can just put it on the plate. Our sweet potatoes have cooled enough to handle, and I'm just gonna break them up a little bit before I put the rest of my stuff in there. And you're making the topping. Right, I'm chopping a cup of nuts, pecans, of course. So I'm gonna get the eggs and the milk. Okay, and I'm going to add a cup of brown sugar, pack it in the cup kind of tight. I'm putting two eggs in here. Okay. I'm ready to eat. So a couple of eggs, cup of sugar. I'm stirring in my half cup of flour with the nuts and the brown sugar. You're so helpful. I thank you. And then I'm going to take a half of your stick of butter. Can I have that? You can. I have about a teaspoon and a half of vanilla going in. Maybe a little more. A little Give salt, a little take. pepper. Butter for you. And really is truly a souffle. It really does whip up into a really light sweet potato mm -hmm. souffle. And then this topping is this awesome pecans and brown sugar. Yeah. And it's just really, really awesome. Get that started. Then I'm going to get this whipped in and then I'm going to add my butter. About a half a cup just to kind of get it started so it doesn't fly all over the kitchen, although I have been known to have flying souffle. So your kids like the sweet potatoes. They souffle. do like it, and they, like I said, they've learned to like sweet potatoes just in general from, from having this. Because they like pecans, they love sugar. Yeah. Who doesn't love sugar? Who doesn't love sugar? Okay, it's about ready. Awesome. Let's get our dish ready. The last thing we're gonna add is about a half a cup of milk. Together. I like this on the plate with all the salty stuff because I really like salt, but I yeah. love to have this tasty sweet and then I can go right back in with the yeah, salt. Yeah, and it looks good on the plate too. You know, the other thing about that, the other recipe that people used to make with marshmallows is by the time you get it to the table, especially if you take it somewhere, the marshmallows are kind of eh. And this eh. is still very good <laughs> yeah. even later. I have a friend who actually asks me to make sweet potatoes to play for her birthday cake. Really? Yes. <laughs> so in lieu of birthday mm -hmm. cake, you know she, that's good. she gets sweet potato soup. Okay, ready cool. for topping? Yep. Okay. Go I'll help it. you. Help me. And this just gets crunchy and sweeter and sweeter and as it cooks. And this is really also good the next day. It is good on her. <laughs> They'll be ready to eat. Okay. okay. 350 for about 30, 40 minutes, you mm -hmm. think? I think so. Okay. Very chic, very good. Pecans, brown sugar, it rocks. <laughs>